exhausted, I'm hot, my core hurts. I just tried to get this really cool picture of this, what is that even called? Like a, a barricade thing? I don't, I don't know. And it's in the middle of the water and I could see that if I crossed the creek and went around to it, I could, you know, jump up onto it and get a really cool picture of me standing on this thing in the middle of the water. But on the adventure over there, there was like this crazy thick, like big barbed wire fence and stuff that I just couldn't crawl through as well as breaking down the tree branches. So I ended up having to come back. And on the way back, I crawled across this huge log that like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it was moving. And in order to stabilize that thing, I had to stabilize my core and that just, you know, hurt. So we'll see how that turned out. Thank you. 
Come back this way. There's so many trails over there though. I'm like running and jumping on these things that have clearly collapsed before. spot I'm talking like prostitution some guy walked up to me while I'm sitting in the truck you know the way I am right now how I always sit in the truck and tried to offer me drugs he's like yo you want some weed or you know a little something stronger and I was like whoa wait a minute no bro we're good you know we got we got all the stuff we need in this truck not your stuff so we ended up trying and driving an extra how long did we drive for drove an extra hundred miles trying to find somewhere because every hotel down there in that area we were at was completely booked for some event so we ended up finding this hotel here and then by the time we got in got our stuff in and we just crashed it was late and we were tired so here's to exploring the rest of Louisiana <laughs> It's her birthday. Her birthday. Aww. She's 42, and she decided to spend it out here where she can socialize rather than her tent. Aww. That's cool. Mm -hmm. She's got a birthday breakfast. 
rather than panhandling. Yeah. She's social as it is. It's her birthday. Yeah. I don't want to donate stuff to people that are begging for money or food. No. I'd rather just donate to people that just genuinely are just, you know, living. Hang on. Audio. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather donate to people that aren't, that aren't begging, that are just trying to do their own thing, live in the bed that they made. Anyway, like I said, I want to do good in this world. I want to help people out. But, like, I don't want to help those that are, like, begging for money or, like, trying to just get drugs or, like, alcohol from the money. I'd rather get somebody that is just, you know, doing their thing, laying in the bed that they made and accepting their fate. That's the kind of people I want to help. And she was very much so like that. You could tell she's accepted that how she is. And she just wants to socialize on her birthday rather than being her locked up in her tent. So I'm glad I could, you know, help her out and get some birthday breakfast to her. And I think that this is a message that everybody should get to see and should be able to do. If you got leftover food, just go find somebody that's just minding their own business, doing their own thing, and give them a little something. It could literally make their day, and you never know. Like, I didn't know it was her birthday, and maybe I just made this one of her best birthdays that she's had in probably a while. I think you, I think it's something that everybody should be able to do rather than spread all of this, you know, hey, let's get the message out there that we need to spread happiness and just help one another. This world is very much so do what you got to do to be big, but why not do what you got to do to help other people? I think it's a better message. But Louisiana, great. <laughs>